here today to share with you a sew along for this birder skirt pattern 6241. So we're going to be making version A with the little D-ring belt and the detail stitching. What we're going to be using is this wonderful washed denim. So this is cotton, it's 145 centimetres wide, it's available in five colours and this particular shade is medium blue. Now it's woven so it's non-stretch and I think it will be just perfect for this little skirt and it will go with lots of garments in your wardrobe for the spring and summer months I feel. Should you wish for a more wintry look I think maybe choose one of the darker shades. Have a look and see which one you prefer. If you want to sew along with us today everything that we're using will be linked in a bundle below. So you will receive the birder pattern, the washed denim in the colourway of your choosing, a matching thread, a matching zip, some D-rings and some interfacing. So just click on that link and you'll have everything that you need to get started. While you're here, why not join the Minerva Craft Club? With the Minerva Craft Club, you will receive 10% of all your orders for a whole year. And that includes anything that you buy with us today. Also, why not create a free account? When you create a free account, you can connect with like-minded sewers from all over the world, share projects, ideas and inspiration. It's a really good place to meet up and share your sewing hobby. So why not do that now because it's all completely free. Now, before we begin, you want to wash and prepare your fabric as you would normally. So if you would normally wash and tumble dry, do that now. Don't skip this important step, it saves on any shrinkage later on. When you've done that, you want to take your pattern and check your measurements on the back. So check your measurements with a tape measure. Don't just go for your standard dress size because these can vary. So do check your measurements to be sure of a correct, perfect fit. When you've done that, we're ready to begin. So we are going to be cutting the pieces for version A and we're going to go and do that together now. Here we have our pattern pieces. This is the front skirt panel for versions A and B. You're going to cut two. This is your straight grain. Make a note of these markings here for your pocket opening. These markings here. Your small circles and your hemline. Now this is the hemline for B and we're making A, so this is the hem fold here for A. There's your cutting line and the fold line. I've folded my pieces a little here and you do this on this parallel line here. So this is where you lengthen or shorten. Now I've done it a little bit on this one. This pattern's for 5 foot 6, I'm only 5 foot 4, this would have been a little bit long on me, so I've taken it up with a fold, a small amount on each pattern piece. You might want to do the same. So lengthen or shorten at this point if you need to. This is your back skirt panel for A and B. Again, we're going to cut two. This is your straight grain. Again, the hem fold here for A. Make a note of this marking here for your zip and the small circle. This is your side skirt panel for A and B. Again, you're going to cut two. This is your straight grain. Lengthen or shorten here. Make a note of these markings. Small circles and your hem fold line. Now we have the front facing. Here's your centre front fold. 
you're going to cut one on the fold and one on interfacing. Make a note of the small circles. This is your back facing. You're going to cut two and two of interfacing. Your pocket pieces, you're going to cut four. And your loop, you're going to cut one. Your belt piece, you're going to cut one and you're going to cut one of interfacing. This is your fold line. So now we're ready to begin. First job, you want to put half of your cotton onto your spool and then I would change to a jeans needle. So a jeans or denim needle. I will link some of these in the products below also. So I've gone for a slightly lighter one. It's quite a light denim. So I've gone for 90 on these. And then what we're going to do first, you're going to take your two front pieces and we're going to stitch the centre seam. Now when we do this, we have markings that we've made from our pattern. And this is for where the seam is going to interrupt where your belt comes through. So we're going to stop when we arrive at this point, jump over this and then carry on just for that top part. So with right sides facing, we're going to stitch that seam together now. So with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance, make sure that you're on the right side of your seam. So the outside of the seam has the pocket notches. So you know that that's the outside. So make sure that you're working on the right side before you begin. Back tack. Stop at that point where your markings are and just jump over that bit. We're leaving a gap there. Back again. Now, when you've done this, you can neaten your seams so. Finish your edging, either zigzag or overlock. Press the seam open and then we're going to top stitch. So with your seam pressed open from the right side, you're going to top stitch and you're going to do that seven millimetre on each side of that seam. So you can use your foot as a guide here because it is with your foot placed just past the centre. You can make yourself a little guide with a card or tape if you wish to do so. And here you have your opening. Now with your back pieces, right sides facing, we're going to stitch up that back centre seam up to your zipper mark. Now. You can use an invisible zipper if, uh, zipper if you wish, but this one we're using today is just a regular one. If you're using an invisible zipper, you want to insert your zip first before you do your seam. When you've pressed your seam out flat, you can line up your zip nicely with that pressed edge there. So pin it down one side before you begin stitching and then change to a zipper foot. Now you need to stitch up the other side. Once you have your zip in place, you can go in and do your top stitching. Now it's a little bit harder to get quite close to it near the top of your zip if you've got a regular zip in there. I'm going to go back in and do that after when I've gone all the way down each side. <laughs> Lay 
your pocket pieces on front skirt panels at markings, right side facing and you're going to stitch here on both sides. Press those outwards on both sides, then take your side skirt panels, locate your pocket notches, and place your pockets right sides facing on here as well. So here are your notches, pin in place, Now you're going to put your skirt front on top of your skirt sides, right sides facing, pockets laying outwards and on your right side of your skirt for view A as well you're going to leave this point open here as well for your belt. So stitch to here, skip over this little opening, stitch the top bit there to the top of your pocket, skip over your pocket and stitch down the rest of your side. Now press open your seam again and you're going to top stitch around it both sides again before you press your pocket to the front. So it needs to be pressed open for you to do your top stitching first. Now when you're top stitching down either side of your pockets you might find it helps if you put a pin in each side where your pockets are facing outwards just to stop them moving around while you're top stitching. Now lay your back skirt panel on top of your front and side skirt panels. So side panel is here, this is your back panel with your zip in. Place those together and pin and we're now going to stitch these seams. So both sides, so here's your side, here's your back panel, pin down this side. When you've stitched your side seams to your back pieces, press open and finish your edges again. Now you're going to top stitch down both sides on those two seams that you've just completed, same as you've done on the rest, so that every seam will be finished with two lines of top stitching. You may want to do a little line of stitching top and bottom of your pocket so make sure that your pocket is lying to the front of your skirt. And then just do a little line on each side, just to hold that in place and to reinforce your pocket. You don't have to do this, but I just think it gives the pocket a little bit of extra strength. And if you're going to be using it, you can sometimes start to pull away at the seams if you don't reinforce them. Now we have your back facings here and your front facing. So we're going to attach these at the sides. Now you're going to pin 
your facing all the way around the top of your waistband. So if you notch the centre of your facing and match it with that centre seam, match your side seams here with either side of the front facing. So these two seams match up here and the rest pins all the way along to the back. Pin it first and then we're going to stitch it with a 1.5 centimetre seam allowance. So make sure all your seams uh, lie flat as you reach them. Snip your allowances close to the edge. Turn your facing upwards away from the skirt and the seam that's underneath upwards and just a few millimetres away you're going to stitch it as close to the edge as you can. So this is under stitching and this will encourage the spacing to fall to the right side. So when you turn it inwards it will be less inclined to roll out. Now when this has been pressed down, this waistband facing, you can also press up the hem here and you're going to be turning it in either side of the zip and hand stitching it down the side of the zip here and then hand stitching it at these points where the seams meet with a few hand stitches. Press your belt carrier, both sides to the centre, I've overlocked the centre of mine as well. Press it so it's neat and then you can stitch up each side a few millimetres away from the edge. Do the same on the other side. Cut the strip into three pieces, each eight centimetres long. Now you're going to stitch on your belt loops. So one centimetre below the top of the waistband on your two back panel seams, either side of the zip, and then on the front, on the left front panel here. So where the front meets the side here. So this side is where you have your opening one, and on the left. Now you're going to take your belt and you're going to fold it, stitch along here and down the side, leave a gap, do the same at the other side and then turn it through. Now you can do it all and pull it through one end if you wish, it just makes it easier sometimes if you leave a gap in the middle because sometimes it can be quite bulky pulling getting through. Something to note here, I've decided to do my facing on the other side to make the belt a slightly different shade so I've used the wrong side for the belt on mine. This might be something you want to do or not. I just thought it might be a nice little detail to have the belt a slightly different colour. So Now top stitch around your belt roughly seven millimetres again now secure two of your D-rings through the end of your belt that you've just top stitched and you're going to stitch this down here To just walk it a little bit because it's very thick at this point with this um, number of layers. Now you place your belt in through the front, front slit and then it's going to come out again through the side slit. 
Now you can hand finish your hem if you wish or top stitch. As we've top stitched the rest of it I'm going to top stitch mine. So here is the finished skirt. Pockets are a nice detail, they're very neat. It's a good fit and I like the way the, the belt passes through under the front as a waistband. Well I hope you've enjoyed sewing along with me today. Have you made this pattern before? Please let us know in the comments below. We always love to see what you've been making. Also if you have any questions pop those in the comments and we'll do our best to help you in any way we can. Remember to like and follow Minerva to get more video content like this every week. Well that's all for today and I hope to be back with you for another sew along really soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.